In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can host your Webflow website completely for free. This is gonna be perfect if you're wanting to host your website on your own server, or if you're like this guy who has 10 websites and you don't wanna be paying $15 a piece for every site and spending like $150 a month just to host a basic website. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna to want to log into your Webflow account and go into the designer for the specific project that you want to host elsewhere. Once you're inside the designer, you simply want to go up to the top right and click on this code icon. What this is going to do is it's going to compile all the code for your site so that you can export it and then take that code and host it wherever you want to. And I'm going to show you where I like to host my code for simple sites like this. Now do keep in mind that this isn't going to retain any functionality if you're using the Webflow CMS or Webflow e-commerce. This is just for basic static websites. Okay, so once the code has been compiled, you just want to click on prepare zip. And then once that's done, click on download zip. Now this has downloaded your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and assets. Once you download your folder, you can now host your website wherever you want to. Now I'm going to show you where I like to do it because it is not only a very powerful platform, but it's completely for free. I like to host these sites through Netlify. It's super easy. You just type into Google Netlify drop and you'll come to this page right here. And all you have to do is drag and drop the folder that we just downloaded to Netlify and it will automatically deploy your website. I'm going to show you right what I'm talking about. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that file on your computer and you're going to unzip the folder so that you have just the folder not zipped. And you're going to drag and drop that right into Netlify drop. Now you're not gonna to wanna to refresh the page or anything. Okay, so after your site is done uploading, you'll be presented with a page saying your site has been uploaded. If you're not logged in, it's gonna look a little bit different than what mine looks like right here. But once you're logged in, you're gonna be presented with this dashboard right here, and you're gonna have a list of sites underneath here. Now I have a few of them, but you're probably just gonna have one. What you can do is you can click on the site that you just uploaded, or you can go up here to the nav bar and click on sites and then you can click on the site that you want. Now from here, you're automatically gonna be generated a link and if you click on that, you're gonna see that the site is now live. So technically, the site is being hosted as we speak. You have like a staging domain, just like you do with Webflow. But if we go into the domain settings, here's where under the custom domains section, you can actually connect your custom domain and Netlify, if you scroll down, they are also going to give you a free SSL certificate. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Now, I'm not going to show you how to connect the custom domain because it's pretty straightforward, pretty much just like Webflow. But I will include in the description below a helpful article on how to connect your custom domain to your Netlify site. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this button, add a custom domain. It's going to walk you through the process, ask for your domain name. And then once that's all done, you're going to be provided with DNS records that you're going to have to add to your domain. And then once that is done, this SSL certificate down at the bottom will automatically start being applied to your domain. And if it takes a little bit, that's fine. That's totally normal. You can, there'll be a refresh button down here where you can constantly check it to make, to see if the SSL has been applied. And Netlify does take a little bit longer than Webflow to connect to your domain so if it's been a few hours and your website isn't connected to your domain that's totally fine and it's totally normal it usually takes four hours for me so that's a quick guide on how you can export your website and host it wherever you want to and lastly i do own a webflow development agency so if you are looking for webflow development or consulting there'll be links in the description where you can learn more about that